It's Brian, and I'm here with a little device. This is the Ultron GPS logger. This is something that no uh, keyboard tape person guy should be without. What it does is it lets you settle bets. It tells you how fast your um, plane went, how high it went, uh, how far it flew, and uh, the average speed it, it went. Pretty straightforward. Records in kilometers an hour or miles an hour, and altitude is in feet or in meters. Um, that's switchable, but uh, really straightforward. Powered by your uh, receiver, just plugs into an empty receiver slot, and uh, and just push the button to start. Pretty straightforward. Let's uh, put it in the jet and see how it works. Okay, this uh, has got a regular servo connection. We're just going to plug it into the receiver, and uh, that'll give it the power that it needs. Just anywhere, any old spare slot should work, and it comes up and gives you the introduction screen gives you a couple of, uh, of menu items and now the button is right up here where, where the, the top where my, my finger is. Just a quick push will go through view data and search GPS. I don't have any data in it right now so I'm going to do a search GPS. I put it on that and then I push and hold for a couple seconds, let go and it goes searching. Now the best thing to do is leave it very motionless right now because otherwise uh, it can um, it, it'll take too long and it actually won't find the, uh, the satellite. If it says it's failed, unplug it and plug it back in and start again, and it usually works the second times around. This will probably happen the first time you, you set it up, uh, because it doesn't know where it is, and it takes uh, time and CPU processing to, uh, to, to get its location. So it's taking a bit of time right now. We might have to run it through a second time. Okay, there we go. We've got our location here. It's telling me my lat and long, what the time is, and how many satellites it's got. It's picking up five satellites right now. If I want to start logging, all I do is push the button for a long press, and it says start logging. And it shows you what your actual speed is right now at zero, distance zero. Our height is 165 feet, which is exactly how high we are here, um, and, and the time it's been going. So it's been going for 13 seconds. We'll plunk it in here, tie it down, and uh, take it for a flight and see how fast it goes. Okay, so that was my flight. Uh, we were still logging right now. We're getting nine satellites. Distance has been 3.93 miles. Uh, height right now is showing 178 feet. So uh, it's just stop logging. It's a long press. Let go. And it gives you your location. Push it again, and it goes through the, the results. So total time was 746. Total distance, 3.93 miles. Max speed, 82.6 miles an hour. And average speed was 30 miles an hour. Now that was from the time I plugged it in until essentially it stopped uh, recording just a minute ago. And uh, maximum height was 560 feet. So I said we're 165 here, so that gives us about uh, just under 400 feet high is what I got. Um, and then it just goes through again. Now, if I want to change this to read in kilometers, what I have to do is I have to re-plug it in. So before I plug it in, I'm going to push the button and let it boot up. Now I can switch it and if I view data, it'll show in kilometers. So 6.32 kilometers, 133 kilometers an hour, and uh, max average speed 48, 48, 48.8 uh, kilometers an hour, and the max height was 171 meters. So this is the uh, Voltron Mini GPS Logger, which is available at Velocity RC at velocityrc.com. Thanks for watching.